Today on 27th October 2025, NASA just released the clearest image ever of 3i Atlas and the entire scientific world is in shock. The photo captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and cross-verified by ESA's Mars Express shows details no one expected to see. The object's glowing core isn't behaving like a comet at all. Instead of scattering light randomly, it's pulsing, slow, deliberate, rhythmic, as if responding to something. Within minutes of NASA's release, the image spread across every major news network. Astronomers, researchers, and even casual sky watchers are calling it the most important cosmic discovery of the century. What has people frozen isn't just what the image shows, but what it suggests. 3i Atlas appears to be rotating with impossible stability, its spiral coma expanding in near-perfect symmetry. Data from both Earth and Mars confirm that it's releasing faint energy spikes near the 1420 MHz hydrogen line, the same mysterious frequency where the legendary WOW signal was once detected. That single detail reignited a 50-year-old mystery, one that scientists thought was buried forever. Could this be a coincidence? Or are we witnessing something that was meant to return? The timing, the alignment, the behavior, everything feels too precise to ignore. As images continue to come in, the world is holding its breath. Social media feeds are flooding with speculation, theories, and raw awe. Was 3i Atlas always a comet? Or is it something far beyond that? A messenger, a vessel, or even a seed from another civilization? For the first time in history, Telescopes across two worlds, Earth and Mars, are watching the same object from opposite sides of space. The question is no longer what 3i Atlas is, it's why now. Why, after half a century of silence, did something from the same region of the galaxy return, pulsing, glowing, and looking straight at us? For months, the world had followed 3i Atlas, the mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system. Most of what we knew came from NASA. Their telescopes had first confirmed the object's strange speed and hyperbolic path, proof that it came from beyond our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope analyzed its light spectrum, detecting traces of water vapor and carbon dioxide long before it ever neared the sun. NASA's early reports described it as unlike any comet or asteroid ever observed. Then, all of a sudden, the updates stopped. On October 7, 2025, while NASA's data channels went dark, the European Space Agency stepped forward. GERSA released the clearest photos ever captured of 3i Atlas, taken not by deep space telescopes, but by the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express, two probes orbiting Mars that had never been meant for this kind of observation. To capture the object, engineers pushed their instruments beyond design limits, adjusting software, extending exposure times, and redirecting their communication systems to detect a target over 100,000 times dimmer than their usual focus. When the first image appeared, it stunned the control room. It showed a faint sphere of light surrounded by a misty halo that shimmered against the blackness of space. The object didn't reflect sunlight like a comet. It glowed softly, as if something inside it was alive. ESA released the photo to the public within hours, describing it as an unexpected pattern of light behavior. At that exact same moment, NASA went completely silent. The high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, capable of the sharpest planetary imaging ever made, suddenly stopped transmitting data. No new updates appeared on official NASA channels, and no explanation was offered. The shutdown of the U.S. government was the reason given, but the timing raised eyebrows everywhere. To the public, it looked like two worlds colliding. On one side, ESA, transparent, open, sharing every image and every calibration file. On the other, NASA, silent, dark, and unreachable. One agency handed the mystery to the world, the other shut its doors. Even more curious was what NASA had last shown before going dark. Days earlier, the Perseverance rover had captured a faint streak across the Martian sky, believed to be 3 I Atlas during its approach. NASA confirmed the sighting, but never released the high-resolution version. It was said that high-rise could have captured the object with a clarity unmatched by any other camera in the solar system. But when ESA's photos appeared, NASA's feed froze mid-update. ESA, meanwhile, invited the world in. They published the raw data and even encouraged citizen scientists to process the images themselves. Yet hidden inside ESA's data was something no one could explain. 
The path of Three-Eye Atlas wasn't random at all, and its alignment with the planets looked almost deliberate. When astronomers plotted the orbit of Three-Eye Atlas, they expected chaos. An object arriving from another star system should have entered our solar neighborhood at a random angle. Instead, what they found left even the most experienced scientists speechless. The path of Three-Eye Atlas was almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk on which all the planets orbit the sun. Its tilt was only 4.89 degrees, a difference so small that it had less than a 1% chance of happening by coincidence. No other interstellar object, not even Oumuamua or Borisov, had ever traveled this way. That was only the beginning of the mystery. As the data came in from multiple observatories, another pattern appeared. The object had passed near Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, the only three planets positioned for ideal observation at that exact time. It wasn't just close. The timing was almost surgical. When Mars was at its nearest point for ESA's orbiters to observe, 3i Atlas swept by within 18.6 million miles. Weeks later, it approached Venus at the best viewing angle for Earth-based telescopes. And by late October, Jupiter's massive gravity lined up perfectly to give a potential slingshot trajectory toward the Sun. To many, it looked like a cosmic coincidence. To others, it felt planned. One researcher called it the perfect flyby. The more scientists analyzed the trajectory, the more questions surfaced. If 3i Atlas had entered from deep interstellar space, how did it find a path so precisely matched to the solar system's geometry? And why did it cross the planetary plane at the exact moment our most advanced probes were able to see it. Some experts pointed to gravitational dynamics. Small nudges from passing stars or galactic dust could alter an orbit over millions of years. But even that didn't explain the accuracy. Simulations showed that for 3i Atlas to appear exactly where it did, the odds were less than 1 in 10,000. A few theorists quietly began to ask whether the alignment might not be an accident at all. The public reaction grew louder once ESA's data became open source. Online forums exploded, with visual models tracing the orbit, showing perfect lines between the planets as if following a pre-programmed route. Headlines called it the most suspicious trajectory in modern astronomy. And yet, with every new observation, the mystery only deepened. Because 3i Atlas wasn't just moving precisely, it was accelerating. That acceleration would soon reveal even stranger behavior changes in speed, light, and composition that no comet or asteroid could mimic. From the moment the first detailed data arrived, the behavior of 3i Atlas began to challenge everything we thought we knew about comets. Scientists estimated the nucleus of 3i Atlas to be somewhere between approximately 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers across. Based on images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope from July 2025, that size alone would make this interstellar visitor far larger than many known comets. Yet it grew even stranger when researchers combined size with motion. Despite clearly shedding material and releasing dust and gas, Three High Atlas hardly showed any of the wobble or thrust we would expect from an outgassing body. In a typical comet, jets of vapor act like tiny rocket thrusters, nudging the nucleus slightly off its path. Here, the implied acceleration was so small that scientists calculated the mass must be immense enough to resist those forces, pointing to a mass estimate of 33 billion tons or more. Even stranger was the way it reflected light. Polarimetric data showed 3 pi Atlas has an extreme negative polarization branch, reaching a minimum of 2.77% at a phase angle of approximately 6 to 7 degrees. This feature is unprecedented in comets observed in our solar system, and implies its dust or ice grains are shaped or composed in a way unlike any known object. The chemistry, too, betrayed oddities. Spectroscopic observations found that the object contained a relative abundance of CO2 early in its journey and noticeable water ice grains. Even when more than six astronomical units from the Sun, far colder and darker than typical comet territory. It also lacked iron where we'd expect it, and showed dust grains behaving more like those in trans-Neptunian objects than classic comets. In short, it looked like a comet but didn't act like one. The combination of size, mass, light reflection patterns and composition forced many researchers to ask, is this simply a strange natural body or something else entirely?